This video is on a very interesting line of isolation products designed to improve the performance of audio and home theater systems. Like many specialty audio companies, Harmonic Resolution Systems, or HRS for short, was born when a very talented engineer decided to quit their day job and apply their skills in an area no one had thought too much about. Mike Latvis, the chief engineer at HRS, had been designing isolation equipment for commercial aircraft, military aircraft, and missile defense systems for decades. As a holder of several U.S. patents, his credentials on isolation speak for themselves. He looked around at the products on the market in the late 1990s, and there were very few products addressing the audio world directly. He shared his early work he was using in his personal system with some very experienced audio experts in Hamilton, Ontario. They immediately wanted to know how they could get some for themselves, and HRS was born. We can tell you from experience, the difference in some systems can be shockingly good. The first time we heard one of the isolation bases, we really could not believe our ears. HRS produces a complete line of noise reduction products ranging from affordable products to large-scale custom stand systems. All of the products are designed to exacting standards with materials that are meant to last a lifetime. If you want to read more on HRS isolation products, be sure to click the link in the description to be taken to the full review on audioadvice.com. Now let's get started. We're going to focus in this video on the more affordable products and help you understand which might fit best for your system. So why is isolation so important? If you enjoy sitting in front of your music system and getting that feeling of the artist being right in the room with you, a very low system noise floor is one of the critical elements that can take your experience to a new level. Many audio companies that make really good gear go to great lengths to reduce noise within the components as they know how important it is to system performance. Some vibrations are airborne and some are coming up from the floor to your equipment. All of the components that touch the musical system are very sensitive to noise. It can disrupt, damage, and mask the intricate detail of a musical performance. Vacuum tube gear, for example, is so sensitive, if you lightly tap one of the tubes in the signal path with a pencil eraser, you'll hear a high-pitched ring through your system. The same holds for phono cartridge. The digital circuits used for clocking and DACs are very sensitive, as are capacitors in the signal path. To prevent vibrations coming up from the floor into your gear, you need something to completely isolate them from external disturbances. HRS makes a full line of isolation bases and custom structures to hold the bases with patented technology using custom elastomer compounds and structural materials with unique properties to dissipate energy before it can reach your equipment. HRS discovered that if they designed the isolation system to work within a small weight range, that would allow the gear to do a better job than if they just had one material and model made for all kinds of gear. This is why you'll see many options on their bases and you can even later get them modified for a different weight range should your gear change. For airborne vibration, you need to find a way to keep your gear from being susceptible of noise coming directly to the component through the air. HRS uses a combination of constrained layer damping feet under the equipment and constrained layer damping and mass loading plates on the top to make it less likely your gear will micro-vibrate with the airwaves coming from your speakers. The team at HRS uses some pretty serious tests and analysis equipment along with rigorous listening tests during the design phase of every piece they make. All HRS equipment is made by experienced professionals in the U.S with all final assembly done by local craftsmen at their factory in Buffalo, New York. Now let's take a look at the products they produce for each category. The HRS line of products to reduce chassis noise consists of two parts, the Nimbus system and the HRS damping plates. The Nimbus system have actually made of two parts, the Nimbus coupler and the Nimbus spacer. The Nimbus coupler is a very special high-tack proprietary HRS polymer with very specific geometry, stiffness, and energy dissipation characteristics. This custom material was developed by Mike Latvis, working with a polymer chemist he had worked with for three decades on many high-performance noise-related projects. After dozens of custom material trials and hundreds of listening tests, the Nimbus coupler became a reality. HRS makes different size spacers you use with the Nimbus couplers to make sure that all it is touching the shelf is the Nimbus system and not the component feet. 
The idea is you buy a complete Nimbus assembly, which is two couplers and one spacer to get the height that you need. These complete assemblies are from 142 to 159 each, depending upon the height, and you need four of them. However, being the type of equipment geeks that like to figure out how to get the best bang for the buck, we ask, why can't you just remove the component feet and use four single Nimbus couplers? This adds up to $180 as opposed to close to $600 using four of the whole assemblies. So this is a named CD player, and as you can see, the Nimbus coupler is a little bit shorter than the foot, so it's not going to work right. But the foot's got a little alley wrench in the center of it, so all you have to do is remove that. Then you want to place the four feet in kind of the four rectangles here, and it'll make an amazing difference on a CD player. If you don't want to do this, you can of course just use the appropriate height Nimbus assembly to raise your component to clear its feet. But five minutes and a screwdriver or Allen wrench will save you around $400. Once you get them properly positioned, you can tell even by just putting your hand on your component that it feels much more dead and less likely to pick up airborne vibrations than before. We do hear bigger improvements on front end components than the power amp, which makes sense. Anything that happens to the signal in the beginning gets amplified by the rest of the system. The next part of the HRS chassis noise reduction system is to use their damping plates on top of your component. These plates come in black or silver to match your gear and are available in three sizes and two thicknesses. Once again, the question comes up as to how is the best way to go? The answer is get the biggest plate that will not cover up any ventilation holes. We feel the DPI-2 0.7 inch thick models work really well and the thicker ones called DPX provide even more noise reduction. HRS has a huge range of isolation bases for high performance audio equipment. Some of them are super heavy and cost over $4,000 for the base alone. But for the person with components at the extreme end of high performance audio, they offer a big improvement. They recently introduced a new more affordable base called the E1. Like all HRS bases, there are a variety of sizes to choose from. Also, as with all of their isolation bases, every single one is designed to work with components within a specific weight range, so you can perfectly match it to your gear and your listening environment. The Plinth uses a new constrained layer damping system HRS developed for the E1, and it's housed in a beautiful billet machined aircraft quality front. The E1 then uses custom press resin fabric composite top and bottom plates coated with a highly scratch resistant outside surface with special feet on the bottom to further reduce vibrations. The smallest E1 that will easily fit most components and turntables is around $1,100. While that is by no means inexpensive, it can work wonders for some components, especially turntables that are picking up vibrations from your speakers and creating acoustic feedback. We've used this base to take turntables that fed back so badly you could barely turn the volume up to change it into a system where you could crank things up as loud as you wished. It's really pretty amazing. Just like the Nimbus products, we think you'll hear the biggest difference from source components out. Turntables, CD players, DACs, phono preamps and preamps seem to benefit the most, and of course anything with tubes inside. To match up the best E1 for your system, first choose either a 17 by 19 inch size or 19 by 21 inch size. There are then four weight ranges to choose from which are called out on the Audio Advice website. And you'll never be stuck with the wrong weight as a simple matter to later change out the feet to get the weight that matches your new gear. With all of their patented isolation techniques, HRS has come up with two great record clamps that like their isolation bases are designed to go with two different turntable platter weights. Both have a proprietary polymer that decouples the record weight from the spindle. The ADL, short for Analog Disc Light, is made from a custom designed damping polymer and a billet machine heat treated aluminum alloy. It is machined down to less than one one thousandth of an inch tolerance for both perfect alignment and balance. That's pretty impressive. It only weighs 315 grams so it can be used on any turntable, even those with spring suspension systems. The ADH, or the heavyweight, is the same design but uses a non-magnetic stainless steel alloy. This one is designed for turntables that have a platter heavier than 15 pounds. The improvements with these weights is huge in some systems, resulting in less surface noise, more dynamics, better separation of instruments, and much more clarity. No matter which of these components you decide to try, they are designed to augment each other so you can't go wrong starting with any of them. 
If you're the type of person who likes to really sit in front of your stereo system and be drawn into the musical experience, you're the type of listener that will appreciate the improvements these HRS products can offer. The only drawback is they are addictive. Once you hear the improvement, you'll likely want more. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and subscribe to our channel so you never miss the latest home audio and home theater content. We'll see you next time.